to help niggas, because I fuck with niggas, bro. When I first did an interview with you, bro, that wasn't for no personal gain, bro. Working with you in general never was for personal gain. Do you not understand working with the GDs is, is, is like, kind of, like, make people not fuck with you, gang? You talking about personal gain, bro? My third interview was bomb, bro. I could have stuck with just that if it was just about personal gain. I could have just only fucked with the side that I viewed as up, that everybody viewed as up. If I was on some only personal game shit, I was on some for the city shit. I never had to work with no GD rapper gang. I never had to do that. I came right in the door where I needed to be already. I was already locked in with who I needed to be locked in with. I chose to work with everybody, bro. So all this, you went in for personal game shit, your ass tweaking gang. I lost connections fucking with you, nigga. Um, bro, your ass tweaking. And I never complained about it because I never want to be the type of person that want to pick a side and get involved in people beat, bro. Like, I'm not going to be on some, oh, yeah, fuck the GDs because everybody's saying fuck the GDs. That ain't what I'm on. Oh, bro, I want to get everybody a chance. Oh, it's so much shit I ain't, I ain't do and benefit and, and to benefit you. I, I I I didn't lost out on a couple bass because of you, gang. It's it's and it's it's a nigga in the comment right now that wanted to expose you and do an interview that I refuse to do it with. In a time when I really probably needed to get a a, a busted interview, the nigga trying to expose you, I didn't do it. There's a lot of shit I ain't do, on bro. It's interviews we done did. I didn't wasted my time, wasted editor, wasted my money with editors, all type of shit. You just tell me don't drop it. I ain't never say shit about it. So how's it all personal game? It's personal game for you. Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't. And it seemed like uh Ruga and uh 16 shot them visuals, they didn't fell out now. And it's over small shit. I'm pretty sure it's over the fact that Ruga don't like some of the questions that's being asked about him and some of the beef that's pertaining or obtaining to him. And you know, just as an interviewer, 16 shot him doing his job. And I get where Ruga coming from of hey, let's ask more about the music and different shit like that, besides focusing on the beef. But with 16, his a good point he made was the fact that the you answering these questions that people see that's going on around your name and your image gonna lead to more attention for your music so you answering questions about the stuff that because to be honest ruga you is entertaining the beef with rico rico reckless you promoting the fight you got a lot of other shit going on that's not including music that could build up a lot of hype for your mixtape the song you're gonna drop a little more and different shit like that and it's kind of go back to the estg interview where he didn't want to talk about football and aliens he just wanted to focus on his music but how many times can we focus on the gds being in the dough that anthem like Leading to Kanye West and Adonda, and how many times can we talk about ESTG making a brick of fentanyl? You know what I'm saying? It's just different things that you have to show, like your personality, your intrigue, and your aspirations and shit like that. That you know what I mean? It's like you just got to show your entertaining side, be a little funny, humorous, and not always so serious and strict. That's how you lose a lot of supporters who's actually like that other side that you might have. You know what I mean? Like Ruga, you can sing your ass off, and the fact I said exposed, I think that pissed them off. But hey. It is what it is, but show that different side. You feel me? Go ahead and sing, sing that, hit an R. Kelly note in this bitch. You feel me, folk? He gets to hang singing that step in the name of love. Folk, get motherfuckers laughing. I'm just talking shit, though. But on a serious note, I want to end y'all with this. Both sides of the swords is sharp. Everybody has a point. You get what I'm saying? No pun intended, but that was a nice little metaphor. I believe what 16 shot him said in that, in that live when he said... He needed a hot interview at that time and he turned it down out of the relationship with Ruga. I believe Ruga, the way 16 shot him, thought about missing that hot topic even though he felt like he needed it. Ruga should have thought about that because he obviously deleted interviews that he did with you, Ruga. He did, it did a lot of shit to keep that relationship going. And the moment he did one thing you don't like and it's the fallout, well, don't subtract all the other positive shit a motherfucker did for you just over one little thing. But I don't know the whole spectrum of what's going on. But get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think below. I'm gone.